Ain't your freak your bet? Howdy, Timmy! Wow, what do you want, Caroline? Oh, I just overheard your mama say you ran out of tea. Right? So I took the liberty, get it? Get on with it. Of getting you some from the grocery store. What in God's name is that? Tea? That is not tea. We don't drink Yorkshire tea around here. Oh, I don't have time to go to Yorkshire. <laughs> Can you come out with a washing up, please? What? How come I have to do it, not Toby? Well, Toby helped me yesterday. Yeah. He literally washed two pots. No, it was actually two and a half. How can you do a half? I brought one. Stop your fighting. You can both help me. Fine. See, boys, it's not hard. There, I guess. Yeah, this is so easy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be done before you because I'm washing. Not if I can help it. Why is it going so fast? I'm finished, Timmy. See ya. Actually, you forgot a spoon. Right, boys, as it's Friday, should we have a treat and get a takeaway? Yes! Sure. Okay, what do you want? You can have anything. Can we have a McDonald's? Oh, no, I'm sorry, but we're not getting a McDonald's. <coughs> what about a chippy? They've got some great deals. I quite fancy a pizza. Pizzas are a rip-off since Brexit. What about a chippy? Right, we'll meet in the middle and have a Chinese. What kind of meat in the middle is that? A blooming good one. You want a chippy? You love a chippy. I don't even like chips. You always used to eat chips. Yes, because they were better than your new potatoes. What was that? Fine, we'll have a chippy. Timmy, I can't believe you've made us late to parents' evening. I did say we shouldn't go. Mm, I wonder why. Oh, God, here's Karen. At least the three A stars. Is that the one you talk about behind your back? Timmy, do not say a word. Okay. Oh, Claire, we're late to parents' evening, are we? <laughs> Karen, you're so funny. I've already been to my Karen's parents' evening. No red cards all year. Speaking of red. Huh? Psh, Karen, you've got lipstick on your teeth and it looks like you kissed a tomato. What? Sorry, Karen, got to go. Bye. margarita with two chicken fillets. Don't forget the barbecue sauce. And some barbecue sauce. Yes. Just whatever you do, do not ring the doorbell. Is that the door? I'll get it. What's he up to? Oh yeah, I got a margarita and two. I knew exactly what I ordered. I told you not to ring the doorbell. Sorry mate, it's just what I do. If my mum finds out I've ordered a takeaway, she'll think I've got worms through pie. Who was that? No one, just Tabitha. Don't lie to me. Promise you it was Tabitha. You forgot your coke. Hello, my name is Susie. Hi there, Timothy. Ah, uh, Caroline, stop doing that. I just wanted to let you know that today is a great day. What, because it's a Sunday? Correct. So? Well, I'm cooking my first ever British roast. Here we go. And I had no idea you could get pre-made Yorkshire pudding. How handy. Wait, slow down. I'm still. You are making frozen Yorkie puds. I'm guessing you just fill them up with ice cream and have them for dessert. That is just barbaric. Oh. Where are you coming because we're already late to deed party? Yes, yes, I'm here. Well, you're clearly not here because you'd be next to me. Timmy, stop with the attitude. Unbelievable. Yes. Right, let's go. About time. Have you got the keys? No, I'm 14 years old. Good point. <sighs> no, I've got them in my pocket. Let's go. Right, have we got everything? Yes. Phone? Yes. Charger? Of course. Seatbelt? Obviously. Oh, cupcakes for Dean. Yes. No. Oh, I better go get them then. This is absolutely barbaric. Come on! Hey, no. hey, Timmy, Tabitha for his hair too, you know. Why don't you put on a nice film or something? What? England are in the final! I would rather watch a film. What film could you possibly want to watch? How about a scary film? Dean, I thought you wanted to watch the Euro. Oh yeah. I love film. Ugh, I won't be caught dead. We just need to decide. How about Shrek? There is no way on this earth that I'm going to watch Shrek instead of the Euro. Unbelievable. Mum, you don't need to walk me to the park! I know you don't cross the road properly, Timmy! Mum, I'm 12! Stop, look, listen! Oh, God, let's go the other way! Is that... Karen? Hi, Claire, come over here! Timmy, keep your mouth shut. Rude, but okay. Hi, Timothy, I noticed you running over the road the other day. That definitely weren't me! Mm, is that so? Timmy? Clearly he doesn't listen, he's turning into a chap. Well, Karen, at least I don't have one big slug as an eyebrow! Okay, Timmy, let's go! Bye, slug face! I've told myself I'm never eating pizza again. Why? Because the Italians made it. Lads, let's play a bit of footy. Are you joking? What? Football is a very touchy subject right now, and I am quite come to terms that I won't be able to have pizza again. Timmy, ain't all about pizza. Yes, yeah, sorry. Lads, I get that we didn't win. Wow. But we're here to learn, so put your bibs on and get back on that pitch. Mum, I'm in lesson, what do you want? I was just wondering what time you're coming home. Mum, I'm not coming home. Nothing's coming home, all right? Let's do a penalty shootout. Oh! 
Harold. Yeah, guys, it's a sad day. I never knew you had a pet hamster. Yeah, of course I do. Well, let's try find him then. Harold. Audra. Harold Dino. That's his DJ name. I can't see him. Dean, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, uh, what? Well, you see... Don't you dare. I ain't got an hamster. Unbelievable! What? I thought I had a small squishy thing. It must have been my gerbil. You didn't have a gerbil either, do you? No. Timmy, what time is Mum getting from work? I don't know, like half four. Okay, God. Come on, come on. Hello, Timmy's dad here. We've heard you've been in a car accident. Oh, I just ringed already! Hello, Timmy's dad here. Hello. Timmy's dad. I'm just calling to let you know about Timmy's behaviour today. No, he's a great boy. She'll never call home about my son again. Perfect. <clears throat> I can explain! Oh my god, there's Aunt Bet! Not Aunt Bet, not Aunt Bet! Oh, Aunt Bet's here! There and I won't be coming downstairs. Come in, come in! Where's Timothy? He's upstairs. Go up to him if you like. Oh god, they're coming! Oh god, his room's like a pigsty! Oh no. Timmy, wake up, Aunt Betsy! -er. Timothy! Oh wow, leave him to it. <laughs> he was pretending! Oh, hi, Aunt Bet! What are you wearing on non-school uniform day? The same thing I wear every day. Good boy. Should I wear outfit A or should I wear outfit B? Uh, C. Unbelievable! Hands in the non-school uniform, please! Here, miss! You look lovely, Tabitha, I feel like! What? Oh, God! Hi, guys! What are you wearing? You couldn't decide which outfit to wear, so or both! Are you not a bit hot? Pfft, no! Are you sure? Yeah! Timmy! I'm not gonna lie, I'm sweating in places I didn't know which were possible! See you, Mum! See you, boys! Boys! Yeah, I'm coming too! What are you on about? Mum said I have to watch school with you! You are not walking to school with me! How embarrassing! Mm. Hi, Timmy! Hi, Dean! Hi, Dean! I'm walking to school with you today! He isn't! Okay... Timmy picks his nose and eats it! Shut up, Toby! Ha <laughs> ha! Toby, you are not walking to school with us! Go away! I can still hear you guys! <laughs> Timothy, I'm your driving instructor. Oh, God. Right, so. The wheel's on the right-hand side in England. Of course it is, silly me. How do you not even know that? Let's try again, shall we? This is going to be a long lesson. So before you pull away, make sure you put your blinker on. Okay. What are you doing? You got something in your eye? You told me to blink. No, put the blinker on to show you're pulling out. You mean the indicator? Blinker, indicator, whatever. Like thanks, but it's clearly a language barrier. But we haven't looked under the hood. It's a bunny. How's it so freezing in July? Because it's the UK. Yeah, good one, Toby. Well, I got it before you and I will drive. Yeah, well, at least I don't smell like ghost cheese. I'm turning the heating on. Yeah, do it. Great idea. Boys, I'm home. Why is the heating on? It was Timmy. I was freezing. What have I told you? Many things. You don't put the heating on. First you... Get a jumper. Then a blanket. And only then, if it is still cold, do you turn the heating on. Mum, you're basically making us live in an igloo. What was that? Nothing. <laughs>